Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stalos and welcome to my brand new Overwatch Tactics series. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to take control of high ground and how to defend from the high ground. Understanding high ground in Overwatch is a key concept. Once you understand this, you will become a much better player and it is so fundamental to the game. Whoever controls the high ground generally wins. So what we've got here is attack on Numbani. You can see we're pushing through main. Now I've got a decision to make here. Look at the kill feed. We've lost two people. Both of them are our tanks. I've killed their tracer. Okay, that's great. What do I do right now? I either just start firing into those guys or I run away. Well, you can see that's Reinhardt and you can see that's Zarya. What I want to do here is try and get up to the top right there. You see where the high ground is? If I can get up there, then maybe I can do something and make something work. Because again, controlling the high ground is crazy powerful in Overwatch. You have such a small hitbox when you're up there. It's very, well, it's very hard for them to hit your head and it's easier for you to hit their head. So what I'm going to do is run around the back of the point. I drop my heel there just to give myself a little bit of sustain. I run around the point, grab the small health. Now, I'm in a position where they can't really touch me. Look at the kill feed again. They've killed a lot of our team there. There's only really me left and a couple of other guys around the point. So the push is kind of over. But is it over? I can still have an impact because I've got such a fantastic position here. So I quickly check back just to see if anybody's chasing me. But now I'm about to hit the best position I could be in right now. And that is here. This is an awesome position. Look at this, right? You can see Soldier 76 on the left has just been put to sleep on the high ground. You can see Zarya on the low ground. You can see Reinhardt on the low ground. You can see the members of my team. Somebody is off to the right there. We've got two guys coming back from the spawn and somebody by the large health. So we're kind of split. But this is such a great position here. By me moving onto the high ground here, it gives our team a fantastic chance to just drive home this point and try and secure the win. Because you can see we're 3-3 and like we really need this. If we don't take it, um, then we're not good. We're just going to end up with a draw. So I managed to kill the soldier there. Good sleep by our team. But again, notice what's going on here. I've got great sight here. Anna, she's got no chance. I've killed Anna and I've killed their soldier. That has destroyed the backbone of this team now. The rest of our team start coming in. Tracer comes for me. There was a good call on the team comms there saying Tracer's coming high. I managed to turn around get involved and kill Tracer. Diva does come and help me. But that is an example of controlling the high ground because what has happened there is my main goal on that attack was to get onto the high ground. Get into the point, then get onto the high ground. If you control the high ground, you generally always win or you have a much higher chance of winning on attack or defense. Now, that was a more sort of complex thing to do there, a more ballsy thing to do. Because if I'd stayed on the low ground, their soldier would have carried on shooting me from the, the high ground. I just would have been wrecked. But instead, by moving around and taking that high ground from them, we managed to take the point and it was actually quite a good play. So what we're going to do now is move on to another point and we're going to take a look at Gibraltar on attack. Now, uh, Gibraltar is going to be the final example in this video, but of course you can do this on other maps as well. Any map with high ground like Dorado, for example, if you're defending, you always want to take it. If you're attacking, you want to take it off them. That's basically how it works. So what I'm going to do here is take a fantastic position on Gibraltar attack. You'll notice that because I'm here, I've got a great, like... Uh, line of sight over everybody. There's Baby Diva there. She's about to get hit with a Helix rocket. It's very hard for them to contest me here. The only danger you've got here is maybe a Roadhog hook hit you or if there's somebody over on the other side. But because our Diva is over there, she's already dived in. I don't have to worry about that. But even if our Diva wasn't there, it would still be a great position for me to be in right now. So we've killed their Diva. You can see I've got free reign on their supports. Now I start working on them. I should have maybe killed the Zen there, but it kind of doesn't matter, right? It's pushed them away. And look, we're getting more kills in the kill feed. I am, I'm in such a, an awesome position, but they've allowed me to take this as a defensive team. It's almost like a free win, right? Especially if you're playing Soldier, or maybe if I was playing Widow right now, or Hanzo, or possibly McCree. They just gave me free reign, so I could just absolutely destroy them. And, you know, it was easy. This is a bit further forward. Now, this is the shuttle. And again, I've taken the high ground. It's not the high, high ground because I could be on top of the shuttle. But they've allowed me to be up there. Like, through me being up there, I can see all of the field and I can run through and start doing damage. We got a nice combo off there with the Anna. We managed to take the point. That is just because it was, again, uncontested high ground. If ever a team doesn't contest the high ground, they generally lose. Now, this is the final point on Gibraltar. Again, I'm taking the high ground. Look what I've got available. I've got my attack visor. I know I can use that if I need to. But also, this just gives me free reign. Like, I'm not being contested. It. Now, as I said, this isn't just unique to Soldier. Any other, like like their Widow over there, she was trying to take me out. If I was Widow right now, this would be a great position. If I was McCree, if I was uh, Hanzo, anybody like that, it's the great positions to be in because it allows the team to, your team to push forward. You get a full view of the battlefield and you can just stop piling on the DPS. A lot of Overwatch is about positioning. If you have the best position, which is almost always certainly the high ground, you will generally win. So this now is an example of defending on Gibraltar using the shuttle. This is an insanely strong position on this map. If you control this shuttle, it's very hard for them to break through. This position here is okay, it's fine. But what I'm going to do in a second is get on top of the shuttle. And you'll see how 
absolutely powerful that is. They try to contest me with Diva. Diva's not too great, provided that you've always got your heal available as Soldier. Because if you drop that down and start attacking Diva as she comes in and you keep landing the headshots, you can burn her down. But this is a good, uh, a good time for me to just speak about a few of the principles I've gone over in this video. If you control the high ground, you are in a very strong position. This position here is, is what I was talking about. This is cr a crazy strong position. If they don't deal with me, I can just hit it, sit here and just keep pumping out the damage, pumping out the damage, and they can't really do anything about this. But let's just quickly touch on some other maps while you're watching this in the background. So on Dorado, uh, you noticed I, I spoke earlier about the high ground there. So on the second point of Dorado, there is a, high, like a, on top of the courthouse, there's high ground. That's where you want to go if you want to defend, right? The attackers, it's very hard for them to get you off there. If they can knock you down or somehow use a few ultimates or something to engage you up there, that's the only way they're going to beat you. Because if they start firing at you from below, you've got the advantage, you've got the high ground. The reason why high ground is so powerful is because, like I touched on at the very start of this video, it's very hard for them to hit you when you are on the high ground. You have a small hitbox on your head because the rest of your character's body is effectively blocking it where you're firing down onto their heads, so you're doing more damage to them. Headshots do more damage, you're going to kill them easier. Like, look at this here, they're filtering through that. They can't really do anything else, they've got to try and contest me. You'll notice Diva, like, it's her mission to come and get me. I know that, so I'm working on the Diva. She's going to come and get me, I'm going to start working on the Diva now. I've got my heal, there's no way she can beat me, I'm being healed as well. Like, she's got Zen Orb on, but she's going to have to back off, because I'm putting too much damage into her. So she backs off. Drops out of a mech and I've managed to push her away. It is so strong. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to be doing in this video series is showing you ways of how to play the game in a bit more detail. Showing you tactics that you should maybe pay a little bit more attention to. And in this video, I want you to take this away from it. Always control the high ground where you can and you will generally win more games. I'll catch you next time, guys. Toodaloo.